Falcons to start us off in the series. We'll see that change if that changes up later on down the line as Venner Smoke and Legion to start us off in Locker CCTV room. This horribly wrong before, whereas if you just play that like util meta to some extent, like a lot of stall that you would be able to use, like smoke canisters, the Goyo canisters, all that kind of stuff. That's usually when you see these attacking teams really struggle on this bottom floor. And, you know, before we went to a very defensive meta, as Pion is going to be DBNO'd, it was already the side that you were supposed to win on defense. Back then it was like a 50-50 map. Now like 65%-ish towards defense. We really want to win these maps out. Only up to the last three, but... Carter sense to start tingling there. He's like, there's someone potentially coming behind me. No drone was there to uh, tell the tale. Talking of which, there's only four left with 20 seconds, so an execute needs to be imminent right now. They need to start trying to get that plan down, but look at where Q6 is. What are you doing here? It is still so far to go. You're just going to be picked up and dropped into the fuser. Oh, well, he's going to get a kill. He's going to have to try and force this case down, but this nah. should be a pretty easy find. Oh, my goodness. 2-0. And uh, again, openings will be made. You see the Selmas being tossed out to uh, open up both Kanto, I believe. Yeah, that will connect. I'm not sure how useful the angle will be, but also one of the cancel barricades. P9 finding himself on top of the main stairs. He's going to try to put some pressure down. Finds Wreck as he's throwing a Kiba barrier. Perfect timing there for P9. Super unfortunate for the defense, though. And now Falcons actually going to lose one of their own as Q6 will go down. Peon trying to fight the man on main stairs, which Joy will also die. Two players down and down going the way of Scars after that. But they do de definitely have at least some semblance of positioning to try and assist with this. Got the gold vault working in. Kills working his way down main stairs here on the Osa. Fish like with a nice kill, though. They haven't been able to find one of their own. It's going to be kills to get the first one. Does still have quite a few bodies in the area, though, as Peon is just on the other side of this wall. Scars does not want to get overly aggressive, though, as a nice rotation is already coming through from Washoi with the M590. Going to continue to hold things down from the landing here on the stairwell. P9 knows about the rotation, but the shotgun's just too darn good. It's actually going to be P uh, Peon, rather, that takes him down. Oh, a lot of heavy lifting here between these two teams. This must have been the utility grind that they've been on right now, as well as that info game. Just trying to clear things out, make their life a little bit easier. Some drones in, as well as a kill for kills. So will take down the fish life. The other yokai doing its best to skimper across that top floor without getting tagged up by the Echo, or rather the IQ down low. But Jaylad will find it instead. And he's actually going to move the shield here. It's a little risky, especially putting it back down again. Your shoulders get exposed for just a split second. But Falcons, they might have found a home for this case. Peon can't shoot through that he sees one on the window he's just simply running through and he's gonna get gunned down it's all up to his shoy oh my so I mean, many doing it now but it's gonna be like it's gonna be like 20 seconds left when they want uh, when this fire like stops burning mm -hmm. and then there is going to be uh c4s left uh smokes left so a plant is not going to be happening in the default spot. They need to dig deep, and they need to go find for uh, some kills, because there's no other way that this is happening. Yeah, this is terrifying right now. Fishlike is going to start this plant. Wreck runs out. He's able to find one. This could get really messy and actually go the way of Scars, and it actually will. Smokes in. The biggest thing, Falcons. Another EE1D out. There's a good chance that Fishlike just dies due to crossfire. Yeah, I mean, I really thought it was going to come in from the hatch, but no. Down to Peon now. No one versus two. No logic bombs to his name, but does have a chance with a minute and ten seconds remaining and a drone to be able to cover the one rotation. Going to try and work in for this player in red. Doesn't exactly know where he is. JLAT has a nice angle here. This is going to get pretty interesting here. Just a split second. Everyone wants to move first. I highly doubt it's going to be the player on the ground. P under the move up. He's completely stunned himself as well. Oh, <laughs> cool. oh. Imagine bringing a Zen Garden as your mind to you put a few bits. I should have brought one for laxing. Oh, wreck. Is he sneaking behind? Oh, my. A nice little trade there, but it goes the way of Scars. It finds there, and JLab also going to get taken down. It's a two versus three. Make it a one versus three as all of Falcon's auxiliary players get gunned down. That's going to be a canceled plant here. SMG 12 out. Kills nose. Move. It's going to be Fishlike that takes down P9. That was the player that was able to get that kill earlier. It came from the top of square. Fishlike now working his way down low, and Falcon. I mean, they accomplished quite a bit, but look at the health pools here, Hap. There's also no smokes left for them to play with that glass. So there's also no smokes left on JLAT to actually try and stop this plant from happening. It's been a very scrappy round. 
back and forth. I'm just wondering how they want to get this plant out now. Valentino will be able to find Wreck. It seems like this should be a Nitro cell. round. Nitro will come out. We'll get it. That's a diffuser drop. Fish like the last man standing right now. Get something going on, but it's going to be a full line shift from these yokais to try and make sure that these plants can't go down. Stun out. Case going to be on Peon. He's going to be able to find J Lad. It's a two versus two. Kills just has to stay alive now as Q6 can more than likely hold things down. But Wishoy's going to push forward and he finds him. A nice shot here from Kills. He can just hit the deck. Is the yokai still up? I think it is indeed. And he's got it. He has to stop him right now and he gets it. Oh, he has to stick it though. Does he have another one in place? Does he have the time? This is a three armor. I think he's got it. Hap, this is going to be so very close. Of 17 times over 17. here. 17 times. They have a 12 wins on it, but they're mm. on a six that's having the diffuser in his hand. He's still firing off that suppressed OTS uh, as much as he possibly can to hope to find someone under control. Oh. Actually gets down by Wreck, who uh, has triple for the round so far, and it's bad timing coming in from uh, O-Kills, and you know, the last man standing right now is probably going to go down. Actually, we'll find the kill for his efforts to be able to potentially help with one of his teammates as uh, also is in a grenade for some good measure. 15 seconds remaining. P9 is just going to drop on and should die at a moment's notice to the player over here on the cross. Be able to take out that man as well. Hop over and P9 will be able to find a home finally for this case. Valentino on the cross. Able to tag up Wreck just a tad bit. And going to shoot P9 right in the butt as well. So he's going to move his way through. Going to be keeping that lead with you for a while, buddy. Until you can find a surgeon. With Joy. Last man alive now as it's Falcons in a one versus three. Make it a one versus two with Falcons in favor. But with that case already no down, time. they really just need to try and play patiently. And this round is more than likely theirs. Yeah, there's almost no time for Wishoy here to try and, and, and find himself with a way to actually go for the counter defuse in that UV. Where, guys, it was insane. But either way, Kills gets the assists there from Q6. Well, to at least keep himself alive there. Maybe a little worried that that first stun did not get him fully, but obviously we saw how close that thing bounced to him. And if you're within five meters of one of those flashes, it full whites you. It doesn't matter if you're looking at it yeah. or not. It's, it's already over. So Q6, some nice shots. He'll be able to find one, and they're actually fighting fire with fire here. It's up to Peon, but Peon, you got to fight against the AK-12. This gun is a demon. You do have the MPX. You have some good mechanics. That would have won them an entire event in Milan up against Empire. So, very unlucky. U6 trying to find some ground. Of course, there's lots of long angles that could be used to stop this plant from happening. And let alone the player that's still in sight there. Not seemingly fully aware of his position out there. Not really showing anything until he walks through the door. Yep. Able to shut him down is going to go down himself, but Valentino will be shot. So, coming up to kills now, and you see the full heal comes in. So, even a little down doesn't mean anything. And it seems like Scars, after the timeout, will be on advantage yet. Now, of course, Jaylight will go down. Valentino drops as well. This is the moment where Scars need to be able to lock this off, but kills comes through. He manages to find one, knows of one of the positions as his teammate just fell, and that with that, dropped the diffuser needs to find the other 1v1 right now. He just doesn't know exactly where Pion is. And Pion going for the long rotate, going up top as well. So is Washoi. So they're both going to be playing it from the, uh, this direction. And with that, they're hoping to make sure that he's just not going to be able to recover that diffuser and go for the plant. As soon as he jumps through that window, should be a swing from Washoi to come through. And there you have it. A portion of the map you didn't really consider before. So, all done from them. Three versus three now, though, is they're going to be dealing with Falcons on their defensive end. EE1D's out. Yokai, or rather... Candela in, Wreck in as well. One behind half wall, and oh my goodness gracious. We're sure he's going to fly through as no, well. What are you doing? And he's been found. What? Didn't have the proper gun out in the first place. Peon, so much damage dealt to him, and that's that's the round. Peon has one HP. That's it. And Mute is outside. And there's two people outside. And they don't know where Peon is. And there's a it's finally going to die. E9 sees a couple of drones up here. And, whoa. Oh, really? Yeah. Retake. Yeah. This is what. This is what. Okay. All right. Get the drone. The drone. I'm really. I'm really impressed with the fact that this is what they want to go for. Okills does have the read here. No nitro cell in his pocket, but the beauty of the cardiac sensor is he'll be able to read things out for P4 or rather P9 on this top floor. He's just been spotted. Please don't stay. 
All right, he's staying. He knows where this one is, and I think they really want this gunfight. I think they really want him to try and retake this, and so far, so good for him. He's going to get one Scars player. I don't think that they really thought that this was going to happen. Wreck works his way in. Close to that. He's going to be about to get into a double fight as soon as this Selma pops. That's just going to be a telltale of what's going to be happening out here. They want to open it up just a little bit better, just a little bit wider, so they have the right angle to play with here, but you now everybody's just setting up for it from the side of Falcons, and as Q6 drops the very first, drops the very second, that's the diffuser drop, with 15 seconds left, and it might just be a flawless round as well, if it wasn't for Washoi and Wreck, the Wreck is left standing, and well, there's no way he's going to be able to get these kills, or get to the diffuser in time, and actually towards Scars here, because they have played really good rounds in the tournament so far, but just these last couple of attack rounds which we've seen from them, have not been it. It's definitely not. Lots of traps implemented from Falcons here as well. I love this idea, Hap. They know that the Scars have been quite slow. So Goom Mines and Frost Mats are going to be something that really could change up the fate of Wreck. Oh, what a good find. And oh my, a double kill for him. This is what we wanted out of Scars the entire time. The team play here. Fishlike has the back end over from Box Wall, and he's going to take him down. As soon as they try and move forward, that's the case down. A big kill there from Kills as they're trying to crouch walk their way through this side. Tags up kills just one time, and I shot there from Pion, but with 10 seconds remaining, this case, Yo it requires a home. Yokai in, JLAD up top, nobody coming through that rotation, but as soon as this case starts, he's more than likely just going to drop in some verticality no, 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 to find no, no, no. it. Uh oh, will he be able to find the feet? He finds the other one instead, and this no, case, it, it goes down! JLAD with a beautiful pistol round there. And, oh, oh, but yeah, totally agree with you on that front. Here's the stats, though, for the match, folks. And our MVP is actually going to be kills. 